Hello everyone. Today we'll be reading The Queen's Knickers by Nicholas Allen. The Queen likes to dress smartly. She has an enormous wardrobe for her clothes and a slightly smaller chest of drawers for all her knickers. Dillis looks after the Queen's knickers. She has a special trunk for when the Queen goes away. This says Her Majesty's knickers. One day, the trunk went missing. The Queen's knickers! The Queen's knickers! It caused a great crisis and was only just sorted out before it reached the news at ten. All these policemen looking for the knickers. The trunk had got mixed up with a picnic hamper. This family's eating the Queen's knickers and here in the laundry room they're putting out the picnic. The Queen had knickers for all occasions. Royal weddings, horse riding, state funerals, Foreign visits, garden parties, Balmoral, at home and every day. At the opening of Parliament, the Queen wears her VIPs, very important pairs. There is no picture of these, but here is the safe where they're locked up with other state secrets. When she travels, she has special knickers with a small parachute inside them. Just in case. She has another pair for when she's on board the ship. Oh, look, they turn into a lifeboat. But her most special knickers are her Christmas knickers. They are a gift from Scandinavia and are traditionally decorated with real holly, which is why she keeps her Christmas message very short. Maybe she's getting poked in the bottom. The royal knickers, though, are her most valuable. They are made of pure silk with gold thread and encrusted with diamonds, emeralds and rubies. They were first worn by Queen Victoria and are rather baggy. I wonder what knickers the Queen would wear if she visited our school. There'd be a terrific flap at the palace. Call the royal knicker maker, Dillis! Oh no, far too fancy. Oh no, far too frilly. Oh no, far too plain. Oh no, far too silly. I shall just have to wear my everyday knickers. Then, then the poor queen would feel very awkward as she's so particular about her clothes. But I would tell her something to put her at ease. Don't worry about your knickers, your majesty, I'd whisper. You see, no one can see them anyway. Then 
she'd be sure to send a special note to me afterwards by the Royal Mail saying, Her Majesty wishes to inform you that her visit was very enjoyable and most comfortable. That was The Queen's Knickers by Nicholas Allen. Bye-bye, everyone.